Hello boys, today we're going to showcase a sundial in Rust. For me, nighttime in Rust is an absolute nightmare, as I assume is for most people since we can't actually see anything. And the worst part is it always seems to start getting dark just the minute you walk out your door to go farming. To combat this problem, I sat down for a few hours to construct this, to have a way to tell the time, to better organize my priorities. And now I'm here to share with you how it works, how to tell the time on it, and how you can build your own. The clock shows 10 hours of in-game daytime, which consists of 46 minutes in real time. If you're familiar with Rust console commands as an admin, you'll know Rust has its own 24 in-game time cycle. The boxes you see are not randomly placed, uh, they tell you the exact in-game time. Uh, you could have one just outside your base and when you think to yourself, you know, I want to go and do some farming or raiding, but it's like, you know, how much time do I have left of daylight? And you just look out your window. As a first step, open your map, zoom all the way out and work out where the center is. And you can build anywhere in this big region, point being to just avoid the sides of the map. Decide where you want to go, uh, but the thing here to look out for is uh, big mountains and a lot of trees being around you, as uh, you know their shadow can end up overlapping and covering your sundial. Once you find a clear spot, get out a building plan and facing the sunrise or sunset, align the sun to be directly in the middle of your foundation and from there on just uh, drag it straight down and place it. Now place your pillar and if you've done everything correctly the shadow should be right in the middle of the end of the foundation as you can see here. Now from where the shadow is pointing get out a triangle foundation and start placing them forming a circle and from there place foundations here and uh, finish it off with one more line of triangle foundations. Now place stairway foundations on the side so you can get a good angle to place your sundial's arrow point, which is just a small box. Go ahead and delete that and uh, now before I start upgrading everything, I'm going to show you how to place the rest of the small boxes, uh, which will serve as your time indicators. Make sure it's early sunrise or late sunset to get the max length of the shadow, which we need to align the boxes with. Align your first box with the shadow and then drag it back a bit to give it some distance. Now place it in the middle of where the two foundations meet. Now make sure you move left while staying aligned with your first box. Place the next box in between the two vertical lines and then your next box in the middle of that vertical line. So you're simply uh, placing a box on each vertical line and one in between the two. Don't worry too much about being off by a bit, it doesn't really matter. Continue to do this until you have seven boxes down on each side. Now go on the outside and place one box behind the last box. Then skip two and place another box behind that one. Then skip one, place a box, and then don't skip any, just place a box next to that one. Uh, the double boxes symbolize the hour that it is. Uh, this is your 10 hour clock, you might be wondering why it's starting from 9. Well, when the shadow is on 9, it is in fact 9 in game. For example, if I was to type env.time9 in console as an admin, uh, that's where the shadow would be. Uh, same for all the rest. And uh, as you can see the distance between each hour is not the same but the time it takes to travel it is. Looking at the skips I assume it's some kind of mathematical pattern. Uh, I'm assuming the next one out would have been four skips. Uh, as you can see 12, 13 are on the same box, same as 14, 15. The line in the middle that I've drawn here is to indicate which side is which. 
Now using the admin console to demonstrate it working, I will set it to 9, console command being env.time9. As you can see, it's 9 on o'clock. And now 10. There's 10, 11, there's uh, some kind of delay between commands for some reason, it doesn't seem to clip into that, I don't know if it's some kind of server lag or it's just because I'm changing the time by so little. Now I reached 11. Twelve. You can see it's fast forwarding it. It's not supposed to do that though. <laughs> Thirteen. And so on. Uh, you could make it a 12 hour sundial but it's not really practical since uh, adding another hour to your sundial uh, is an insane distance. As you can see the shadow is way too far away. That's all for today guys. Uh, thank you for watching and thank you guys so much for helping us reach 1000 subs. That's, it's, it's still, it's still mind-boggling to me because it's such an amazing uh, milestone to reach in such a short period of time. And I'm, I'm very, I mean, the community has been great. I'm, I'm very happy to be here, and I'm really looking forward to seeing where this goes. So I'll see you guys on the next video.